Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nick and we are here for the finale of the half-baked storyline for Street Fighter V. We've done every single character up until this point in pairs of twos and the last couple episodes are kind of a sausage fest. We did mostly just guys, but and this episode is not going to be any different. We're going to be playing the Fang and the Cali storyline. And we'll start off with the Fang one. All right, so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy. I will survive using this poison. Guys, seven three, seven three. Dang old Yao Ming in the house here. Actually, a little bit shorter than Yao Ming, I think. Anyways, and his weight is unknown. I guess because he floats and defies gravity. They are the Nugu Hao one of the largest cartels in Asia. It seems they allied with Shadowloo last month. The cartel is infamous for kidnapping children. They train them and use them as assassins who wield weaponized poison. Hmm. Today, they've come in order to show their vassalage. Vassalage? What ugly poisonous snakes. Is that guy really supposed to be the new Fang of Nagu Hao? Looking at it makes my blood run cold. Shh, keep it down. Despite his look, I've heard his skills in the use of poison hands exceed every previous generation. His attack is definitely the most potent ever seen. Even if he only grazes you, he'll eventually melt to nothing. The poison hand kills by using the natural poison produced within the user's body. As children, they develop immunity through controlled exposure. Those who couldn't withstand it would die off. They'd die and die and die and die. And only the one that survives can become the chosen assassin. Which is why I'm here. Great Lord Bison, you have magnanimously allowed the Naguhao group to become part of Shadowloo. We are very appreciative of this generosity. As proof of our loyalty, we've come to provide some entertainment. You are all fools. Alright, Fang's attacks are much like Chun Li's, where you have to hold them to charge. Fang's oh, attacking literally just to escape. Then there's a poison lunge. Yeah, them. His actual physical attacks don't hurt that much. It's mostly just the um. It's the. It's the poison. It makes it very tricky to deal. Fight with as well. I want to do a back throw. I'm sure we have a back throw. Yet. Slippery when wet. Save the critical arc. This critical arc's pretty cool too. That your best. What? That is impossible. What power could resist my poison? This shouldn't even be possible. I know that my nail struck into him long enough to fell any man. It won't be much longer before the poison works. Just need to survive until that happens. Now join your fellow traders in death. I will count out to you! I will survive this! I will remain on the side that kills, not is killed! Really? It's a rematch? <laughs> I can't give in to you! Ooh. To get the full effect of his... Yeah! <laughs> or catch him in there. You have to... You have to throw it down at a medium distance away, or catch the guy midair like that. So really good there. Jogging. Yogging. 
And Bison's taking it deep. Even though I'm probably not gonna win. Oh, maybe he spoke too soon. Fireballs here. Or not. Why? This can't. Stupid fool. Your poison doesn't work on me. It can't be. I gave him so many deep scratches. Enough time has passed. My poison is unmatched in its ability to kill any living creature. No, it doesn't matter now. I won't be killed here. I will survive no matter what. Please forgive me. From now on, I'm eternally yours to command Lord Bison. I have no need for loyalty. What? In Shadowloo, only those who wield true strength shall survive. You came against my power, and your strength is the only reason you're alive. If you lost that strength, your death would be certain. Survival is that simple. <gasps> this man is... This power is... If you want a life in Shadowloo, show me that you can be of use. <sighs> Power. To him, my poison was just like a single beast. In his power is over power nine thousand. The strongest poisons ever known. This man isn't just on the side of killing. He will rain death upon all living beings. I've lived knowing every day could be my last, but I've realized. There is ultimate power. It does exist. I must gain more power in order to be of use to that man. I will eliminate all obstacles, prepare for battle, and help Lord Bison conquer this world. Talk about your groupies, man. <laughs> Might as well give him some fellatio while you're at it there, Fang. Alright. Moving on to the last character, Nakali, which is he's the only character that didn't show up in any of the other subchapters. So how he his role plays in the story is completely unknown at this point, probably until the full story mode with cinematic comes out in a couple months. But anyways, let's jump right into it. <laughs> Yeah, he has a really cool move set, so I'm glad that we got three fights to show it off. Once every few hundred years, stars herald the hour of the battle, and Nikali walks this plane. Nikali wields an unearthly power in order to devour the souls of strong warriors. When the next hour of the battle comes, Many warriors will nourish him to his satiety. The first of these warriors agonizes to proceed on his path. Inside him, the red power burns at his soul. I am the jaws of death. The souls of warriors must return to me. That roid rage. Jeez, what the hell am I wearing? Get back. Let's try. Rose throw in there. Okay. Ooh, nice shot you can. And we have, well, we also have this thing called the Mask of Kali. It's a grab. Oh, never mind. I'll get in the next one. When the man who agonizes along his path 
devotes himself to the battle, the Red Power will be awakened. The Iron! The next warrior is the one who serves the God of Fire. I have no idea what's going on with this guy. What's interesting is that his B trigger never runs out. It's like... Oh, that's not up. All special attacks require you to be up close, so that's kind of an issue. Yes! I got him! Come closer, Dalcine. Charge! Rugby charge! Oh man! Whatever, dude. The hair reminds me of Blanca. But even the god's fire will not be able to stop the All warriors will find themselves unable to avoid the fate of the Maj and booing them. He's the one who fills the world with destruction. And bison. It's a close up attack. First critical arrow. God. Absolutely destroyed. Kind of suit. I call this Super Saiyan Green. It's not even my final form, but actually it is. Okay, that's enough of that. I want to stomp you. I actually like the the, uh, the disc guy that's attacking. It's pretty sweet too. The charges. The charges much long. Oh wait. The charges much longer with the X bar. Might be able to finish it off here. Or not. Or I'll completely with it like that. <laughs> the force is absolutely. The force determines to consume everything. The winner will be. <laughs> to witness Nikali is to know that you are a true and strong warrior. I will show you my power. <laughs> Cliffhanger! 16 trials. All set, baby. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the kind of storylines for Street Fighter V. 
Once again, the cinematic storyline does come out in a couple months, and I definitely will be covering that at that time. But other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little sneak peek into all the characters. Let me know how I did. If there are any improvements that you'd like to see for the full cinematic experience of the story mode, let me know, and I'll try to brush up on my Street Fighter V skills. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. If you enjoyed, drop this last video a quick thumbs up, and I shall see you guys next time, alright? As always, have a nice day.